So uh, this week, our team in Oxford has been making a switch to the React UI library. That's not a framework. And we discuss why we've made that choice and what we are learning. So basically, that's something that I've been heading up with the team. It's super geeky. Lucian, I have a question. You've made a you've made a differentiation between a library and a framework. Yeah. Could you just explain <laughs> why you did that? <laughs> We've got to ask Lucian yeah. questions. Kim. Do you think he knows the difference? I think he has. <laughs> I think he was leading us. There. I don't quite know the difference precisely because I haven't worked with this enough, but I do. A library is kit that you can use, and you can, it's like almost like we have a friend who builds car components and it doesn't matter whether it's a BMW or a Mercedes or whatever if you're putting a brake into a car use the component that works in millions of different brands you don't need to reinvent the wheel it's solid it's more object oriented and it's designed to sort of interface with other other libraries and when we come to react we we are also interested in a whole set of other technology whereas if you've got a framework like angular for instance and there is a there we do have have one system that we build in Angular, you buy the whole show. You know, it, the whole thing is designed to serve a complete solution. So you'll use Angular, which is a fantastic Google product, product for sort of a big app where you want to sort of do everything in the way of that app with react it's much lighter it's more dynamic and you can pull other things in so, and so who's behind react Was uh, somebody invented react it? yes is, is actually an apple product it, uh, sorry it was a facebook product it was created by facebook in huh. 2011 to have difficulties that they were finding with updating the user interface of huh. their of their website and what i really like like about this is you know, why are we doing this mm. I mean in the early days we were using we invented our own bits of kit to help us with what's called serverless architecture so we were finding that the process of building stuff on web servers was exposing us to huge vulnerabilities and we were doing more work with uh, mission critical sort of government type sites and things like that where we really didn't want to get it wrong and what we decided to do was build everything locally and ship it out to just basically files file spaces right. like uh, the amazon s3 file space and that's like a contrast with with say open source frameworks like um WordPress, WordPress and stuff where, like where that. it's open source, open, lots of plugins, yeah. tons and tons of features, tons and tons of yeah, things. I, well, I, I think what's the advantage uh, of the serverless over that? Well, I'd, that is actually a servered, servered architecture where actually you're employing something in the cloud to build and it's building the site on demand so the kit is all out there and so are all the vulnerabilities and it's and it's you're actually using server resources as well so you your your um database could be attacked you you could be exposed to much more so what are you, what are you learning from it is it is it good is it easy is it what is it? I think there's 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 two things that really matter to us at this moment in time. One is a separation between content and tech. Right. And you don't really want to have to depend upon techies to deliver content in a content management system. And, you, we, and this is the classic dynamic between uh, web, the website is usually a kind of crucible of contention, isn't it? Between yeah, yes, the tech team and the marketing, the comms people. So we've got sort of both here. Yeah. And they're the both because both have a really yeah. pivotal role in it, right? Yeah. And both actually do need to own it, but they can't both own it at the same time. So, Lucian, how well, does React help? Well, and I, I think WordPress did deal with a lot of that, whereas it made the content management very accessible, but in a very specific way blog articles you know the classic old stuff but actually content managers want to affect partner logos on a site or a particular the order of things in a menu or yeah. and they'll, they'll get much more into that and in the serverless environment that becomes very challenging and we were using things like you know hugo and our own kinney kit kind of libraries to do that and they just became very remote very geeky because also content editors need help 
videos. Young people need to have lots of material online to learn how to use this stuff rather than send. Well, you know what the next thing will be? It'd be content people like myself just going to chat GPT and saying, uh, yeah. you know, write some code like for me. Yeah. I need some PHP yeah, yeah. to do yeah. this thing. I believe yeah. you me, yeah. techies are going to chat and saying, write a story for me, write an article yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, they're also saying, write my code. Apparently 50% of developers are now using chat GPT routinely to write code. I had a, I had a go literally yesterday at it. I wanted to pull it in. Um, yeah. I support Fulham. And I wanted, to, I wanted to put a little update of what's just Fulham, not the full table. All right, right. I want to see what's happening in Fulham, and I want it on my website. So I asked ChatGPT to write me some code. Yeah. And it, well, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I was like, yeah. wow, yeah. Yeah. this could have taken me a long time. I know. Oh, no, 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 Kieran, um, there's also some stat which I've forgotten. Like, what's it trained on existing code? What's existing code full of? bugs yeah well i don't i don't buy that with, <laughs> well, this, with, so this, the... with, with this stuff where you've got typescript in react you you know these are all safe codes and actually the suggestions that i'm getting there's an, another whole topic that really we we i really want to touch on and it, that is the free vs code platform that's provided by Whoa, microsoft that's oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, wow. it's actually, there is yeah. you have oh, made my yeah. day there's nothing yeah, I love I mean, more than a free well, VS. award season and i've been watching a lot of red carpet type Thank of you. thing but my goodness i, I hear, didn't realize i hear that the innuendo the yeah <laughs> when i say it's saving you bs when i say it's saving you many many thousands of pounds how do you feel I'm listening. About? <laughs> <laughs> a little more excited yeah and, and built into v what we've got is a gang of young people so it's not just me going on this journey of discovery all the youngest people is mm. super brainy in react in Oxford, school and a react school and actually they need tools very quickly so that you can kind of set them up with an environment and help them and they can throw it away if they're not interested or whatever. Whereas yeah. the old tools we've had, you have to really buy into it, get very heavy licenses, and it, it just felt all more industrial. So and is that the feel of it? It's more the sort of modern generation? Oh, you, playful. You try it, in, you chuck it, yeah, get another one. All things in. Mm. Get, use things that other people have developed because it's easier and faster. Uh -huh. Merge it with your own unique this ID. Is, this and, is it's, the modern, and it's fun. The modern yeah. mindset. Yeah. Mm. There's, I, I mean, we haven't got time to go into it. The internet series is about touching on things we could serialize the components of this as a, as an episode each time next js is a whole set of libraries that sits inside react uh <laughs> github GitHub is a very necessary code deployment okay, Lisa, network. I'm doing Bursel an intervention is now. is a way I'm of actually publishing the site. And finally, on <laughs> top of it, is sanity that you can sanity. use. Sanity. That's a good choice. I promise you, we're not going insane with this. No. Forgive, forgive the autism. We're very thrilled. Yeah, we're okay. very happy I promise you, you this is the internet seriously we will keep away from these topics as much as possible but i thought oh, we'd have a we, little bit of a little no not at all us tech shamed are used to this uh <laughs> no but actually fantastic fun we're having and we'll 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 keep in touch eh yeah <laughs> thank you very much for that after that our next uh subject <laughs> is we're going to be talking a bit about the news this week a couple of things have taken our interest but before that it's time for